Welcome back. We continue our team coverage of Tampa Bay's big game. Today, the NFL commissioner speaking on what it took to get to this final game and his big regret when it comes to a former player. That's right. Our Isabel Rosales joining us live from downtown Tampa with the interesting anecdote from that press conference today. Isabel? Yeah, Wendy Jamison, uh, just three days out to the big game, Commissioner Roger Goodell says that the league understands this is not a normal Super Bowl, and that might mean that Tampa sees another Super Bowl sooner rather than later. And that's not all that he spoke about. He commented on his long due recognition of Colin Kaepernick by name. Kaepernick, the former 49ers quarterback, received a wave of praise and criticism when he first knelt to shine a light on social justice, police brutality, and racism. Today, Goodell praised him and said Kaepernick deserves appreciation. Also, that he wished he had listened to Kaepernick and others when they first brought these issues to light years ago. Meanwhile, on the topic of the Super Bowl making a return to Tampa, he said this. Um, we recognize that uh, it may not be the full extent of economic benefit. You know, they never wavered about moving forward with this game. And they've never looked forward and said, you know, we want to have a game in return. Uh, those are the, the, the kind of people who make this world special. And I, I think the NFL will recognize that going forward. And when it comes to moving forward on diversity, Goodell said, also said he's not satisfied with only having two minorities hired for seven head coach openings. He says the leagues need to uh, put diversity as a priority there, and that NFL will look into tweaking the rules uh, in hiring coaches as a way to ensure that. Live in Tampa, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News. Isabel, thank you. Meanwhile, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers do a whole lot of good in our community. And when they came across an article, our Heather Lee wrote about a man who spent 37 years on death row for a crime that he did not commit. They knew they just had to help. Robert Dubois is still working through the learning curves. I thought for a while Siri was working for the toll people. She wouldn't let me miss one. He's still getting used to self-checkout, cell phones, and getting back behind the wheel. I wasn't foolish enough to think that I could just come out and jump in a car and go. On a warm summer day six months ago, Robert came out of the Hardy Correctional Facility a free man, 37 years after walking in. That's the one thing I was hopeful for all these years was just proving my innocence. Starting life back up hasn't been easy. There are things that he has yet to experience. Job security, savings, a good credit score. Florida compensates exonerees $50,000 for each year they are wrongfully incarcerated. In Robert Dubois' situation, that's 37 years, totaling more than $1.8 million. Yeah, I mean, so the headline is Tampa man exonerated for murder after 37 years likely won't receive compensation due to Florida law. An article I wrote in September detailing why Robert didn't qualify for his compensation fell into the hands of Bucks guard Ali Marpet. I, again, I'm not 100% sure. I think I don't know if it's a notification or I was just kind of scrolling, but obviously the headline being very eye popping and just if you feel that from there, Marpet shared the article with fellow teammates like Donovan Smith, and they decided Robert would be a focus for the team's social justice initiative. You can't replace 37 years, um, you know, at all, let alone being on death row. Put it this way, between them and Project Innocence, my truck is sitting outside. Paid off? Yes. He's such a positive guy. I mean, for someone who's been through so much, um, to have that sort of disposition, it's just, it's unbelievable. And it's just, it, it gives us so much perspective. State Representative Andrew Learned has filed a bill that would grant Robert the money he is owed if passed. It would also require the state to formally apologize for its mistake. In this case, this is a very clear-cut, easy example of a state that just wronged somebody. The Innocence Project is also fighting to get a bill passed that would rid the law of the clean hands bar, which keeps someone from getting compensation because of a previous conviction. Now, hopefully in the future, we, you know, the, the law changes where, you know, if you had a, you know, a, an offense, you're still entitled to compensation. That, that just doesn't make sense to me. For now, Robert is getting the gift of kindness, something he admits he's not used to. They invited me to the Super Bowl. They did? Yes. Yeah, you going? Of course. <laughs> the growth of several new friendships just getting started. Ever since then, it's just been like a growing relationship uh, between us and, uh, you know, 
Rob is a great man. Heather Lee, ABC Action News. What a great story. Thanks, Heather. Tampa is truly the city of champions. Looking back at a wonderful sports year here in the Bay Area. And now the other players who are rooting for the Buccaneers.